This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. Is Nexus Prime coming in October? Are workers in white suits assembling your brand new iPhone 5 right now? And what is the deal with the Droid Bionic and the Droid HD? All this and more on Rumor Roundup. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Noah Kravitz, editor at large for Techno Buffalo, and this is the Rumor Roundup for the week ending today, Friday, August 19th, 2011. This episode of Techno Buffalo Rumor Roundup is brought to you by our friends at Carbonite. Busy week in the smartphone world. Google, as you probably know by now, has put in a bid to buy Motorola Mobility. It's actually not just a bid, the deal's done, just pending approval uh, by everybody from antitrust officials to uh, a shareholder, a Motorola shareholder who has uh, since filed suit to block the sale. But it looks like the deal is probably going to happen. Google will acquire and own Motorola Mobility, one of the biggest makers of Android smartphones in the world. That being said, lots of plans are already in place, and this week we heard some more details about the next in Google's line of Nexus Android phones, uh, possibly to be called Nexus Prime. Nexus Prime is slated to be the first Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich phone to hit market, or at least that's what the rumors say. Google's already said ice cream sandwich is coming this fall. They've got a line already of three Nexus phones, uh, the Nexus S, the most recent one, so it's time for a a new phone and Google likes to launch these Nexus phones to coincide with their big releases of the Android platform. Nexus Prime said to be a phone sporting a four and a half inch display at 720p resolution, 1280 by 720, four and a half inch display, touchscreen of course, uh, with a one and a half gigahertz TI OMAP processor inside and yes it'll be the first phone to run Android 4.0. Personally I would love to see a new smartphone, a new tablet, and the new Google TV all launch with Ice Cream Sandwich all at the same time. That would be kind of a killer blowout move for uh, Google to do going into the back to school, we're in the back to school, going into the holiday shopping season. We'll see if that happens, but the latest reports pointing to an October launch, which, uh, you know, coincidentally or not, would sync up with the latest reported date for the iPhone 5 to ship. Speaking of iPhone 5, yeah, the date right now is October 7th. That's the date being kicked around for the iPhone 5 to go on sale, uh, or at least to be introduced. Though what we're hearing lately is September 30th, sometime in the last week of September, for the introduction, the launch, possibly pre-order sales to start, and then the iPhone 5 itself shipping on October 7th, hitting stores on October 7th. Uh, so there are pictures floating around the web right now right now, earlier this week, that came out, supposedly taken from inside of a factory in China, showing uh, workers, scores and scores of workers, in white suits in a clean room, assembling what appear to be touchscreen panels. Now, according to the report, according to this blog post, the person who takes the pic took the picture said that this is, in fact, an assembly line for the touchscreens to go into the iPhone 5. They're being built right now. Uh, you know Apple builds most, if not all, of their stuff in factories in China, so this would all sync up. And some sleuth reporters, photo experts, or would-be experts, have dug into these photos and extrapolated some information. Our own Killian Bell has an article up on the site you can check out for more on this. But basically, what the reports, or what the photos, the reports on the photos have given birth to is a new round of rumors that kind of sync up with some of the old rumors that the iPhone 5 may have have a bigger elongated home button that would also double as a sort of mini trackpad. It would be a capacitive touch button uh, that would double as a, a little mini trackpad for your thumb uh, in addition to being a home, a home button, which would be kind of cool actually uh, if it was done right because then you could do more on the screen. You could see the whole screen but still be able to flick and move your way around and I would imagine being Apple this is something that would support gestures as well so we'll have to see if that comes to bear. And then the other uh, rumors being gleamed from these photos are that the phone will sport an edge-to-edge -edge display, a very thin bezel, an edge-to-edge -edge display that could be somewhere around four inches instead of uh, the current 3.5 inch display on the Apple iPhone 4. Staying in the land of cell phones, and I mean, why not, right? Everybody's in the land of cell phones these days. Staying in the land of cell phones, Techno Buffalo broke an exclusive earlier this week. Uh, Tipster sent us some information about the forthcoming, yes, still forthcoming, but it's coming soon, 
Droid Bionic, the Motorola phone headed to Verizon. The information we received, which are photos of marketing materials that are being printed up for the phone's launch. You can check those out, of course, on the website. Uh, the information confirms that the Droid Bionic will have a 4.3 inch QHD display, not a 4.5 inch display, as was previously rumored by uh, some other media outlets. The phone will also feature LTE compatibility with Verizon's high speed LTE network, a dual core processor, an 8 megapixel camera with flash and HD video capture, wireless printing capabilities, and it'll come preloaded with an application called ZumoCast that's basically a remote access client that can let you access your computer or files stored on a computer on a hard drive remotely across the network from your phone. You know, computer disasters eventually happen to everyone. Your computer can crash, it can get infected with a virus, you might drop it, it might get stolen, you never know what could happen. But if you get Carbonite Online Backup before your disaster strikes, then there's no need to worry, because your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site, and it's really easy to get them back. Plus, you get anytime, anywhere access to your backed up files from any computer or on a smartphone or iPad with Carbonite's app. With Carbonite, unlimited backup for your PC or Mac is just $59 a year. That's less than $5 a month. But when you use the offer code TECHNO to start your free 15-day trial, you'll get two months free if you decide to buy. All the details are at Carbonite.com. And remember, use the offer code TECHNO, that's T-E-C-H-N-O, TECHNO, to get your free two months of service with purchase. Now also this week, some photos emerged of a new device said to be called the Droid HD. Also from Motorola, Droid HD is an Android phone. This one does have a four and a half inch display, QHD resolution. It also said to sport a super thin profile, somewhere in the nine millimeter range. Uh, HDMI out, 1080p video recording, eight megapixel camera, you know, really just a top shelf device. So between that and the Droid Bionic, you may have two 4 inch plus, 4.3 inch plus display phones to choose from this holiday season if you're a Droid fan. More information, including some more details on the Droid Bionic that I didn't mention here, I want to tease you a little bit, over on the website. By the way, rumors this week, iPad 3 delayed until 2012 because Apple could not get their partners to manufacture enough retina displays, uh, 9.7 inch retina displays, fast enough for launch this year. So rumors that that one's pushed back till next year. There's a little bonus rumor for you. All right, that'll do it for the roundup for this week. Again, thanks to our friends at Carbonite for sponsoring this week's episode of Rumor Roundup. You can catch Techno Buffalo three times a week on Rev3, three, three for three. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, Ask the Buffalo, What's the Apps, and Rumor Roundup. And in fact, I'm gonna be hosting What's the, uh, and in fact, I'm gonna be hosting Ask the Buffalo one, maybe two times. John's hitting the road with some of the other Rev3 folks to go cover IFA, IFA over in Berlin, Germany. So I'm gonna do a little Ask the Buffalo because John's gonna have his hands full covering the big consumer electronics show out of Germany and, you know, hobnobbing with some of the other Rev3 personalities. So uh, look for some fun coverage of IFA, IFA, coming real soon. In the meantime, we'll be back next week, three times, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and oh yeah, we're giving away a whole bunch of stuff. It's back to school time. A lot of great articles, a lot of great giveaways. We're lucky some of our friends in the industry wanted to sponsor some giveaways, some really cool prizes. So go over to technobuffalo.com for all the details on that. It's free to enter, free to win. Good luck. We'll see you next time.